everyone, welcome back to another Felt Chat, a semi-regular series where I just kind of yell at the camera for 15 minutes and play Genshin Impact. That's not actually what the series is, but that's what it feels like some weeks. Uh, that is what we are doing this week, though. Um, something I have noticed, shout out to YouTube's massive page of analytics, is that quite a few people have found my channel and haven't subscribed. That's not a big deal. Subscribe if you want to, don't if you don't. It's a button press. It takes like two seconds if you want to do it. It takes like two seconds if you don't. But the other thing is that apparently people have found me through the search of the term burnout. So I figured that was a decent uh, conversation topic for the video. Uh, real quick before we get into it, team is just... Hey, child Jungling, Zhongli, Zhongling, Bennett, it's a pyro burst comp. It does insane DPS. I only knew I'd been toying with because I've been leveling up Zhengling a bit better. I just threw my Deluxe artifacts onto her, so it's not like I actually gave her good artifacts, lol. Ow. Stop. Wait, no, bad other me. But yeah, a lot of people have apparently been searching the term burnout, and that's been dragging people here. I think it's because I made a video on my burnout with streaming. And it was related to Genshin. So that does kind of make sense. I'm going to talk about burnout in comparison to Genshin Impact, which is something that I personally have never experienced, and I'm going to talk about why I think that is. Why I think I've never had problems with Genshin burnout as other people, and it's because I, I play till my resin's gone and then I stop. Like, I, I hardly ever play past the point of... Past the point of, like, you know, being quote unquote done. Kill him, Goba. Thank you. This is someone who has two accounts, by the way. In case you don't know, I legitimately have a secondary free to play Genshin account that I've been toying around on. And, uh. Oh no! He left the Pyro Zone. And, um, I still haven't felt burnout at all because of, I think, because of the way that I play the game. I play this game until I'm out of resin, and then I just kind of chill. I don't hardcore grind it, I try and do my abyss runs, and then I stop when the game frustrates me. I don't run around grinding mats in the open world for hours, I finish out my battle pass stuff of the week and then I kind of drop it, and I think that's something that a lot of people who play Genshin have major problems with. Is knowing when, he, when to stop playing. Those are pretty bad flowers, unfortunate. Um, you don't have to play a game forever. You don't you don't have to constantly bash your head against the wall that is a video game. You can just drop it and go play something else. In fact, I highly recommend it. Um when I started streaming, I mostly streamed Destiny. Destiny 2, as a matter of fact. And I've shifted into a lot more Final Fantasy XIV as well. Both of those are very hardcore, long-term, grindy video games. And I don't burn myself out on either one of them, because when I start getting to that point, I stop and pick up a different one. I rotate the games I play, because I realize that if I just keep playing a game until I stop enjoying it, it's going to be a while before I enjoy it again. I actually ran into that problem with Destiny 2 when Beyond Light launched. I, I hit a point where I just actually didn't enjoy the game that much. In the entire next season, I just kind of dropped it. I dropped it for like a full month, which is the longest I've gone without playing that game. Like, I didn't even log in for weekly stuff. I didn't play the story. I didn't do anything. Which is very unusual for me. Very, very unusual for me. Also, I'm going to go back on record as saying I hate this boss still. He's so, so beefy for no reason. Stop being so beefy, sir. I don't like it. And obviously this game revolves around my personal wishes. Yeah, like, I think most of the people that feel burnt out on Genshin are the people that try and play it and only it, and this is not a game designed for that. Genshin Impact is not a game that is made for it to be your only game. The more stuff that comes out, the more that it really feels like that, like... The, the Island Adventure stuff? Excuse me, I had to suppress a burp. I know that's disgusting. But... 
At least you didn't get it right in the night. Um, but yeah, the island stuff. I, I, I like threw myself into it and I was done in a day. Like, two accounts, uh, within a week I was completely caught up on all the island stuff. Both times. Like, it is very easy to quickly finish the new content they throw at you, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you dedicate yourself to it and hardcore grind at it, you can be done. And that's, like I said, that's totally fine with me. I, I really feel like that's something that a lot of people don't think about, is that it can be okay to finish stuff quickly, and it's, it's totally fine to be okay with that. Like, you, you gotta accept that. Especially in this day and age of so many video games being free to play. So many games are free nowadays. So many. Like, oh my god, so many. There's so many games out there that are free to play that I just, like... I feel like more people should be taking advantage of that fact. Uh, this is where I make the meme that Final Fantasy XIV Online is free to play till the end of the first expansion happens, well, right? And that's where this happens. Somewhere in here, at least. Okay, I'll get my bursts back. Only problem with this comp is that it's very dependent on your energy recharge on your Zhang and she doesn't have a ton for me, because she's using like the Luke's artifacts. Which is just kind of how it how it be. <laughs> I was finding out artifacts for her and it just wasn't going my way. Like at all. I was just getting really unlucky. Oh no, wait, I oh I lost my shield. I thought I still had my shield. Whoops! See I'm not perfect, especially while I'm trying to live record these damn things. Man, these cutscenes take forever. Oh. Alright, let's uh, let's just eat some food to heal up the party really quick so I don't just wipe here like I did in the last one of these. Yeah, I think that's... I think knowing your limits and knowing when you're burning out on something is something very important to figure out in today's day and age of there being a million video games to play all the time. Oh my god, this... This part of the fight sucks. If you get cryophase, life is just pain. I, I just like cryophase a lot. Come on, Goba, give me the last bit of energy I need. Please, 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 please. Thank you. This music's cool, though. I don't want to deny. I never pay attention to it because I'm- oh god, I'm busy dying. Always busy dying in this way. Oh, Zhang Li lost his shield, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate, that is my number one way of not dying in this fight! He's bringing Zhang- Alright, well, we're really boned now, boy. What is this cryo attack? What is he doing? Hello? What? I've never run into this phase before where he throws stuff at me from the ceiling, by the way, in case you're wondering where this utter shock is coming from. Oh, he's going to straight up kill me. Because... I, this fight is really designed around you having legitimately two shielders and two healers in your squad, I swear. It, it's not designed around you having, like, multiple DPS units. Oh, she's dead. That's unfortunate. I mean, my child, if I keep pumping fruit into him, will live. Nope. Ow. Come on, child. Thank you. God, that fight sucks, as you can see. But yeah, no. Um... Hopefully I covered a lot of the burnout stuff before I got completely distracted by the fact that- Ooh, a good damage circle, nice. Or I got distracted by the fact that that fight was kicking my ass. Nice, a dream solvent. Those are really nice to have. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to actually full heal my party from just like a single one of these, unfortunately. Yeah, no, like, like I said, in this, in this day and age of like literally everything under the sun being free to play, and having a free-to-play version, like, you just you need to find different games if you're getting burnt out on Genshin, and that is fine. 
people out there that are like, Genshin needs to give me more stuff because I run out of things to do. Y'all are dumb. Like, I mean that in every sense of the word. Y'all are dumb. With how much stuff this game gives you to do that is free to play. Constantly whining and complaining that there's not enough to do is completely ludicrous. Now, I'm going to make an asterisk here. There's a difference between the people who are whining and complaining that there's not enough to do and the people that are simply asking for there to be more end-game styled content in the game for people like myself who have, you know, a lot of either level 80 out of 90 or level 60 out of 70 units to toy around with and play with. It would be neat to be able to have more stuff to throw them into. There's a big difference between those two sects of people. One group is literally just, this game should only ever be anything I ever want to play, and everything's bad about it, and you just need to give me more free stuff to do, mihoyo, and then there's the more... um... structured complaints of... I would like more things to do in the end game. Just having the abyss and the occasional event to do to bash my teams into doesn't really feel like a ton of end game content for a player like myself, so I'd appreciate it if there was more. Now, when events like this, like the Legend of the Vagabond Sword or like the the hyper hypostasis events, when those come around, I'm not gonna lie, I love them to death. They are super cool and fun. They are a great chance to flex my like team comps. And team skills and I love it. It's become incredibly apparent to me how interesting and different those things are. Um, I'm gonna die. Thank God for Zhang Li's shielding, Mary. How different and difficult those things can be to uh, do because of playing on our free to play account and realizing, oh man, I don't have like anything to fight these. I don't have like any of the units. I'm just gonna do this from a distance, because I think it'll still vaporize. Yeah, well. Probably gonna save my Pyronator till the second phase. It takes so long to charge. Even when feeding all of my stuff is dangling. Also, time to do my favorite way of getting past this stage of the fight. <laughs> you just vibe on a pillar. Whee! And he launches you, and you put down another one. You don't even, like, hold it for the shield, you just throw down a pillar and vibe on it. He breaks the pillar, you throw down another one. You take, like, five damage if he hits you. It's really dumb. Yeah, like I said, there's there's a big difference between the people who give structured feedback, like, I would appreciate more endgame content to do, and the people who are like, there's not enough to do, give me more to do, mihoyo. There, there's, there's very large differences between those two types of people. I didn't hold for a shield, oh well, I'll do it now. Man, I wish I had more crit damage on my child. I recently swapped him to have a better bow, but it's a crit rate bow. Like, I mean, as you can see, he still shreds, but his stats are just bad right now. 81-16. When... Quick example, I'm just gonna swap him with the shadows thing here. If I swapped out that, it'd be 5168, which is much, much better. In my opinion. Uh, where did I get- where did I put Zhao's thing? There we go. Like, it's- and to be fair, this isn't even a maxed out weapon, so I can actually get- I can eke out like another 3 or 4% crit rate out of the weapon, I believe. Something like that. Anything good? I'm not getting much good this week, am I? Ooh, that's a nice flower. Um... Yeah, no, that's generally... Ma feels about all these things. These are very vibe- If you're new here, this is kind of how this series goes. Uh, I just kind of talk at the camera for a decently long amount of time. I'm gonna go farm up my bursts so that I can beat the crap out of the Volan faster. I should be able to one-phase him if I have everyone's bursts and shields and stuff up. Oop, froze myself. That's awkward. Probably won't end up using... Zhang uh, Li's burst. It's kind of unnecessary. Um, I forgot. Where's the other set of mobs that spawns that's around here? There's some down here, I believe. 
There's at least like a, yeah, there's one of these guys. These guys are great for farming up particles because they're just a little bit tanky. Oh, you're a jerk. It's raining and you're freezing me. I just like you for that. Alright, let's try and farm up some hydro particles for me. It doesn't matter that much to have a child with full particles. His burst comes up so fast when he's just going to town. That's everyone's burst, though. Let's go murder the crap out of Storm Terror. I can actually also show off that I'm a fancy person and... Uh, what page are they under? There we go. And I have transient resins. You can only get one of them a week, but it's, it's still a super nice thing to get out of your, out of your hut or out of your teapot. Highly recommended. Hopefully this video also serves as proof that Zhang Ling is amazing as a pyro burst character. Pairs really well with Child. This team comp in particular is really strong. I know lots of people recommend having an Animo support, but in a lot of endgame content, you just kind of need shielders. And so I just always recommend someone like Zhang Li if you have him. Or Diona if you don't. Diona's a great one because then you can kind of, you can quote unquote accidentally melt. Child applies Hydro so freaking fast that you'll just freeze everything if you have down Diona's healing field. And then it turns into a melt comp instead of a vaporize. Cool, that was a really fast burst. Up here. And once you have the vaporize room, it's it's nuts. I don't think I'm gonna one phase him. I think I'm gonna get pretty close though. Oh? Yeah, we got him one phase. Nice. If I had better crit rate, crit damage stats on my characters, that'd be much much easier to do. Anything good? That's an okay feather. I didn't get a ton of good stuff. I don't, I don't, unless I missed it somehow, I don't think I got a weapon, which is sad. I want more weapons. I want more crafted stuff. Um, I don't think I did this at the beginning of the video, so we'll go through it here at the end. This is my character's stats throughout the whole thing. Child really needs more crit damage and less crit rate. Like I said, if I max out his bow and then swap his circlet out for a crit damage one, he'd probably be fine. Classic 80% there. Uh, here are his talent levels as well. We'll go through talent levels really quick too. I know her go is pretty low, but it, that doesn't affect the amount of particles it gives. And technically speaking, I can upgrade this like one more time, but I just need to go farm some books. I have plenty of plumes. He is going to be in the next event, so hopefully I can get at least one more constellation. Sorry, not next event, next banner, who I'm definitely pulling on to try and get Kazuha. I wish that I had gotten this. I wish that I got it. It doesn't apply to... it does not apply to Zhongling herself. But it's still a really good one. I wish I can get this someday. Get her C6. He's also... Th these are both C0. Uh, attributes. Uh, 75% there. And then 60, 80. He's using a Favonius Lance, so I can just have my burst all the time. So it does a billion damage, because as you can see, level 8, planet before. Um, she's kind of bad. But like I said, these are just my Deluxe artifacts, and he uses a crit rate sword. Technically speaking, I could have switched out a Dragon's Bane for my Primordial Jade Winged Spear. And that would fix her stats. So I push her up, I believe, to, yeah, we push her to like 45% here. And then 45, 112 is much better crit crit damage stats, but eh, whatever. Uh, Alright. Pyro damage, it's classic. It's literally. Alright, how much you get from that? How much you get from that? I find it interesting that he has more geo damage. I don't remember why though. I think it's because he gets Geo as he levels up, the same way Child gets Hydro as he levels up. Which is why he's all the way up at 80. Jungling is at like 60. Uh, Bennett. Bennett's got weird stats. It's mostly be it was mostly all about getting him above 200% ER, so I can just have his burst constantly for healing. Like, his, his artifacts are pretty trash. I can just scroll through him real quick. I mean, this is a good flower. This is honestly a really good flower. The HP's, like, it, for, for Bennett in particular, the HP's nice. And like he's got a good feather, but then you get over here and like he's it's an okay sans. I've mostly kept it because the energy recharge. 
It's a pyro goblet because I don't need the HP, but it didn't roll great substats. Got flat attack, flat HP, percent defense. And it's just a crit rate circlet just because it was what I had. I could probably swap it out for like HP or EM or something, but for now that's what he's rocking. So yeah, this will be a felt chat. As you can tell, these are all over the place, but that is entirely the point of these. Oh, we got to level 40. That's entirely the point of these videos, though. Uh, we'll grab these because Bennett needs them. Oh, you know what? Let's let's do a wish. Not this banner. This is going away in a day. Let's use the single wish that I got. Wow, a blue. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for hanging out and watching. You look great. Uh, leave a like if you like it. Leave a comment if you want to talk about something. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. Like I said earlier, according to my stats, only 50% of you are subscribed. So, you know, subscribe, I guess. Whatever. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Hanging out. Bye.